Okay, so just for the sake of context, we're gonna take this short clip that we're recording on our iPhone 8 and see if we can get it to like act weird, funky, and start to skip like it normally does in Premiere Pro. So these are .mov files coming out of the iPhone. And typically what I have to do is I have to convert them over into an actual MP4 uh, video file format so that Premiere Pro can kind of work with it a little bit more easily. So like I said, this is just a really short kind of one minute clip and this, this is actually a nice setup, man. Like I've been looking, I'll show you guys like right here. I don't know, I wonder how a music video would look underneath this street light right here. That'd be pretty dope. That was, uh, that was interesting. Now, yeah, you know we always gotta mess around, man. We always gotta make some sort of a film. We gotta turn everything into a movie around here, man. But that was actually a pretty fun setup. It was just like me, the dog, uh, one light. You know, it was just like a one light setup. So it was just pretty interesting to see like, you know, just off of one light, literally in the middle of the street, in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> uh, in the middle of the night, uh, just me by myself, you know, this is all, these are all tripod shots. A couple of the B-roll shots, obviously, you know, they were handheld, just kind of me messing around, filming the dog. Pretty much all these shots are on a tripod, so it was pretty, it was pretty uh, interesting to try to get my dog to sit down and stay in one spot, but it was pretty, uh, all in all, it's a pretty simple setup. So this is just kind of an example of what you guys can do to set up something really quick, but it looks kind of dope at the same time, just a single light setup, just kind of one silhouette lighting just behind the subject. And obviously I'm using the street light as my key light. So I guess technically it's a two, a two light setup, but uh, I only actually physically put one light out there so once again we're talking about taking our iphone footage and then taking it out from our phone which are .mov files putting them into premiere pro and let's take a look at what we can get if we just drag it straight from our cell phone into premiere pro all right guys we're in premiere pro and if you notice here i just pulled up my cell phone i just connected it to the uh, desktop here and if i take these files and drag them into my working folder that i'm currently working on this project on we'll go ahead and transfer these files over real quick once these files are transferred over, we can now drag them into Premiere Pro. We can just either drag them in uh, manually or we can import them, however you want to do it. It doesn't really matter. Now, after we get these files in here, what you will notice is if you go back and play them back, you'll see that they'll start to skip in certain we're try and drag of the video. In. Now that we're recording on our iPhone 8, and we're going to iPhone 8, and we're so we're going to drag this file that we're recording on our iPhone. So as you can see here, this footage is just skipping all over the place, so man. If you were to way. actually render this out, it would render it out all skippy like that. So one of the best ways I found that you can get around these .mov files coming out of your iPhone to stop skipping like that is to just go ahead and convert them over into .mxf files. These .mxf files, just think of them as like a packaging or a wrapping that your media encoder can put over these .mov files in order to make it just so Premiere Pro has an easier time reading these files when you go into post processing now the best way to do this is to just go ahead and open up your media encoder and the first thing you do is click on this little plus sign right here and you'll see something that's called create an encoding preset after you click on that you'll see a menu pop up with a bunch of settings on the only thing we need to worry about is the actual format you, you can name this preset whatever resolution you're currently working with uh, I typically name it like either 1080 or 4K just so I know uh, what to revert back into. And then go to format and then click on DNXHR slash DNXHD. This codec is really easy for Premiere Pro to actually um, color grade and edit. So after you click on that, we're going to go ahead and go down into resolution and change this into the DNXHR hq 8 bit for me because i'm using a sony a7 III. it only records in 8 bit if you're using something like um, gh5 which records in 10 bit um, 422 then you go ahead and click on the 10 bit version 
Next, go ahead and go down to your resolution under the basic video settings and change it into whatever timeline that you're currently working in. In this case, we're going to go ahead and change it to 3840 by 2160, which is a 4K timeline. And then make sure your frame rate is the same frame rate that's coming out of your iPhone. Next, go ahead and click on render at maximum depth and then use maximum render quality. After that, go ahead and click on OK. Now you have your preset all set and ready to go. After this, go ahead and find your file that's originally coming out of the iPhone. And all you need to do is just drag it over your DNX HR 4K 24P in this case. And then what will happen is the media encoder will go ahead and start the encoding process. Once you see this file is ready to go, just go ahead and click on play. And then just sit back and relax because it'll take a few minutes to go ahead and convert this file over into its proper packaging so Premiere Pro can read it more effectively. After the encoding process is complete, go ahead and open up that same folder that you found your .mov file in and that .mxf file should be literally right next to it. Go ahead and click on that, drag it over into your import window in Premiere Pro. And we'll go ahead and play this back and see how it looks. Okay, so we're going to drag this file that we're recording on our iPhone 8 and we're going to try and drag it into Premiere Pro. So just for the sake of like, um, so just for the sake of like context, I'm going to go ahead. And there you have it, guys. This clip is looking pretty good from front to back. And now we can go ahead and continue editing as usual. And that's about it for this video, guys. If you guys found anything useful or valuable out of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If it's your first time here checking this channel out on this channel, we talk about various ways we can increase our overall video editing and shooting skills. So if that's something that you're looking at getting into, then consider subscribing to this channel. Other than that, guys, I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to click on this video. And if you have any questions considering anything you saw in this video today, don't hesitate to drop me a comment or drop me a DM at STG Filmmakers. I upload on IG on the regular and also answer my DMs like instantly, man. So, so I'll see y'all in the comments below or I'll see you on the DM. Other than that, guys, that's all I got. I'll see y'all in the next video.